iOS 18 is out and it's got a ton of new features with some significant changes. Today I'm going to cover 5 new exciting changes with iOS 18 so stay tuned. So as you can see on my iPad it's 6.2 GB, on the iPhone it's close to 7 GB but I can't show that to you because I'm already running 18.1 beta. So what's new with iOS 18? iOS 18 brings some huge changes to the home screen. You can now move icons to wherever you want. You can also add custom app icon colors. This is by far the biggest change Apple has ever done to the home screen. To do this simply drag the icon to wherever you want. You can place it anywhere you want. Of course, you can't place it in the middle because it will still snap into the 4x4 grid like Apple has designed the home screen. But at least now you can place the icon wherever you want in the home screen without it snapping back to the last fill position. I know Android's had this feature for years or maybe even decades, but this is what iPhone just got now and I'm very happy about it. For changing the app icon colors, you have to long press on the screen and click on edit then go into customize. So let me go through this one by one. Light is of course the light icons which are there by default. Dark is the new addition where all your icons change into a dark mode and this looks really cool in my opinion. I find this is the best out of all but of course it depends on how you match it with your wallpaper. You can leave it to automatic so if it's day and night it will automatically change the icon colors and then comes tinted. Now tinted is where you can set a color to all your icons and you can match it with your wallpaper. So this is also a pretty cool option. You can also set your icons to large, but just keep in mind it will remove all labels. I prefer the small icon. If you are someone who is going to be using the large icons, please let me know in the comments down below. Control center also gets a huge update. So when you swipe down from the right, this is what you get. There is a lot going on here and let me try and explain everything to you. Let's start with the top. There is a plus icon over here. When you tap on it, you will be able to customize the entire layout. You will be able to see these nubs over here and holding onto this nub, you can literally resize each and every control and this gives you a lot of flexibility and I love it. You can also add a control by clicking on add a control. There's a large list to choose from and you can literally set whatever you want to your control center. You also get a brand new power button over here and long pressing on it will let you shut down your iPhone. So that's a nice addition as well. The next page is your now playing section. So whenever you're playing any media, it will show up the controls over here. Next is of course your home kit section. So if you have a smart home setup, it will list all your devices over here. And the last of course is your connections tab. There are multiple ways of navigating the control center. You can swipe of course like I showed you. You can even tap on the icons on the side if you want to jump from the first to last and you can even hold and swipe. The next feature is something that I've really been waiting for a very long time and now Apple has finally added it and I'm very happy about the fact. You can now lock individual apps with your face ID and that gives you added security for your iPhone. So just long press on an app and you'll see the new feature require face ID pop up over here. Tap on it and here you can see it's says require face ID for WhatsApp. So if you click on require face ID and scan your face, now WhatsApp has been locked with face ID. So if I tap on it, this is what pops up. To remove it, long press again and click on don't require face ID and scan your face. You can even take this one whole step further. Long press on it, click on require face ID and then select the second option which says hide and require face ID. So click on that, scan your face. This is what comes up. It says that you can hide WhatsApp. So then click on hide app. So as you can see, WhatsApp is hidden and you can't even search for it. It doesn't show up at all. To access your hidden app, scroll all the way to the right, scroll down and you'll be able to see there's a hidden folder over here. Tap on that, scan your face and now it'll show up your hidden apps over here. To disable it, again long press, click on don't require face ID and once you scan your face or enter your passcode, WhatsApp's removed from hidden and you can now access it. The phone app also gets some massive new features and there are huge updates as well. First out of the bat, T9 dialing finds comes to the iPhone. You have no idea how much I've missed this feature because I've been very used to T9 dialing right from Nokia days. If you know what Nokia is, do let me know in the comments down below. So what T9 dialing is, if I want to call HDFC, I just need to tap on the numbers that spell out HDFC. So as you can see over here, HDFC. So if I type in HDFC, these are all the results that come in over here. So if I click on 32 more, it gives me a list of all the HDFC numbers that I have. And if I click on see all, it will also give me a list of all of them. So this is something that has been missing on the iPhone and I'm really really glad that Apple has finally added it. Good job Apple. Also please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow and it keeps me motivated to make more videos like these just for you.
One of the biggest and most substantial changes in iOS 18 is to the Photos app. The entire app has been redesigned completely and this will take you some time to get used to. I have had iOS 18 beta on my iPhone for several months now and I'm still getting used to the new Photos app. But trust me guys, it is a welcome change and it's a better change in my opinion. So when you open up the new Photos app, this is what you will see. You'll see that the bottom has been completely redesigned over here. It says years, months, all. And it also gives you some new options. There's a new filter option where you can filter all your favorites, edited photos, videos, just your screenshots and you can even go into view options where you can zoom in, zoom out. You can even view just your screenshots if you want or the photos that have been shared with you. So this definitely makes your photos app way more flexible and much more powerful and I like it. Also when you open up an image, it does not go to the full screen. It's within a frame and if you tap on it again, it will go to full screen like how it did before. Also when you click on videos, it will play the video within a small frame and when you tap on it, it will expand as well. Also, when you play videos, it will loop back. So if you are playing a video over here and now that you can see it's about to end, it will loop back to the beginning and this is also a new addition to the photos app there you can see it's playing the video again when you scroll down you'll see these are the new sections over here this is your recent days section where you can see all the photos that you've clicked recently you also have all your albums that you've preset in the past people and pets will pop up over here and even your pin collection will show up over here all your favorite photos and everything they will also create a lot of memories trips has also been added over here and it's really cool because it groups all your photos together with the same geotag location it's a much neater way to view your memories and i think that's what apple was focusing on they wanted the photos application to list all your memories in a much better way and i think that they have accomplished that with the new photos app and if you scroll down you also get featured photos and at the bottom you can view your media types like just your videos selfies photos portraits and clicking on them you'll be able to do that you can also view all your hidden photos over here by unlocking it with your face id and whatever you have deleted will also be locked and you can only view them once you unlock it with your face ID. If you do share albums, they will all pop up over here and you also get a wallpaper suggestion at the bottom. You can also customize and reorder your entire photos app. If you don't like something, you can remove it from here. And this is a really nice customization feature that Apple has added to the photos app. So these are all the noteworthy new changes and features to iOS 18. I hope you found this video informative. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. See you in the next one.